Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the top 10 recommended cameras for live streaming. I'll talk about the things to consider before buying a new camera for live streaming and also the kind of equipment you need to get your started. Hi there, my name is Juan Carlos Tafur from InnovaLive Creative Solutions, innovative and personalized video solution services to help you and your business to communicate better. Thank you for watching my channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to keep yourself informed about all the different things I talk in my channel. Also, don't forget to leave me your comments and questions. In the description box below, you'll find all the information that I mentioned in this video as well as useful information for you to check it out. So let's push into it. You don't need to break your bank or budget to get yourself a good compact camera to start live streaming online. It doesn't matter if you're just studying or you're a professional streamer and want to ramp out your videos. These cameras will get you in the right direction. It is not a doubt that streaming in platforms such as Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Twitch, and even Instagram has become increasingly popular. While it's never too late to jump on on the live streaming trend, you might also be looking for a better quality camera to live streaming while you're having a business meeting with your folks or even your clients. It is never too late to increase the quality of those you are live streaming for. So before I start the list, here are some essential equipment I recommend you should have for a better audio and video quality when live streaming. First of all, external microphone. Don't rely on the built-in microphone on your camera since the quality won't be as sharp as an external microphone. You will have two main options, USB mics or XLR mics. I won't talk in detail about the microphones in this video, but you may want to check a few options in the description box below. Have in mind that audio is sometimes more important than video. So pick the best quality mic for the best budget to always keep your audio as sharp and clear as possible. Second, HDMI capture device. To connect your camera to your computer, you must use an HDMI capture device. This will save some money instead of using a video encoder since you now have the option to encode your live stream video through any streaming platform or third-party software encoders such as Ecamm Live, OBS Studio, or vMix. Third, lighting setup. As audio and video need to be good, lighting your scene is not the exception. This means you must have a good lighting setup to have a good quality video while live streaming. You don't want to look like this, right? Just by having a ring light or LED attached to your camera will make the difference. Check below for some options you may find affordable for your budget, and that will give you enough light to create a professional lighting setup for your live streaming event. Fourth, Stream Deck. If you want to spy things up a little bit, the Stream Deck is your best bet. This video switcher will give you the option to change cameras, scenes, audio, graphics, play videos, sound effects, and much more. Even though it is unnecessary to have it right away if you're just starting to live stream, you must consider this piece of equipment as your progress since this will make your life easier and definitely make you look more professional. Fifth one, extra equipment. A battery power system to make sure you have continuous power in your camera. Depending on your camera, you might need a mini or micro HDMI to HDMI cable to connect your camera to your computer via a capture device. You also might need a tripod or mount to hold your camera to have a better position and a stabilized shot for optimal viewer experience. And of course, a live streaming software encoder such as Ecamm Live, OBS Studio or vMix, and this is just to mention a few. This will help you create and organize a more professional live streaming presentation. Alright, after taking a look at the type of recommended equipment you need, now it is time to see what you should look before picking the right streaming camera. The camera must have a clean HDMI output. If you don't know what this means, it means not having this on your screen while you're live streaming. What you really want is to look like this. The camera must have an unlimited live view timer. This means the camera doesn't shut off automatically every 10, 15, or 30 minutes, and it doesn't overheat. The camera must be capable of charging from AC power using a power adapter. The output resolution must be at least 1080p or more, and the frame rate should be at least 30 frames per second. The camera must offer an external mic connection. This is important if you want to have a better audio quality by using an external microphone. The camera must have an HDMI connection. It comes in three different options, micro, mini, and full size in order to connect your camera to your computer. 
Based on these things, now you're ready to take a better look when looking for the right camera that will fit your experience as well as your budget. Let's take a look. Now it's time to show you my list of the top 10 cameras for live streaming. At least it's not in order of preference, but in order of pricing, so let's dive into it now. Our first camera in the list is the Panasonic Lumix G7. It costs around $447. If you are thinking of taking your live streams to the next level but have a tight budget, this is your best option. By using a proper camera, your video quality will take a massive leap forwards. And you can play around with the settings to add a blurred background, giving your streams a degree of professionalism. A key feature here is the articulating display, which pops out and flips around so you can see what the camera is shooting while it is focused on you. This will save you a lot of time when it comes to setting up your shot and you will see right away if the exposure is wrong or you have fallen out of focus. It's fast, reliable and can record everything from the film footage to the sound. This is a professional camera. If you are just starting into the live stream path, maybe this camera might be a little overwhelming for you. You must read the instructions to learn your way out. Now we have our second camera in the list, which is the Sony Alpha 5100. It normally costs around the $548. The Sony Alpha 5100 is probably the best all-around choice when taking performance into consideration with absolute affordability for that power and it's a very popular YouTube camera. The Alpha 5100 has excellent autofocus that works well in a wide variety of lighting situations. A micro HDMI port provides a clean HDMI output for connectivity to your capture card and the result looks great for a compressed stream. There we know how to shut off and the ability to run for hours without overheating, and you have a fantastic camera for a low price. It lacks any ability to record in 4K, so if that's something you require, maybe you should look at the other options. Now our third camera in the list is the Canon EOS Rebel SLR3. It runs for about like $649. If you are beginning in the world of DSLRs and want to incorporate such beauty into your live streaming experience, this is the startup camera for you without spending so much. The Canon EOS Rebel SLR3 offers a smaller sensor and portable body in a lightweight design. You will also benefit from the long battery life, one of the largest of all the live streaming cameras on this list, as well as Bluetooth. And let's not forget that this camera can shoot 4K video. When you consider its relatively low price tag, it seems like a compelling option for live stream vloggers. Our fourth camera in the list is the Panasonic G95. It runs for about like $997. Designed very much with video in mind, the G95 has a raft of features and functions that make it great for shooting YouTube content. The fully articulated touchscreen at the back of the camera is handy when it comes to recording yourself, especially when you're a one-man shooting team. Panasonic's going a little further though, with some essential video features cameras like the ones above, notably in body image stabilization. It also supports clean HDMI out with simultaneous internal and external recording. Plus, it can record continuously for practically an unlimited length of time. Our fifth camera in the list is the Sony Alpha 6400. It runs for about like $998. Despite its compact size and lightweight, the Alpha 6400 delivers a speedy performance and a range of features you will expect from a full-frame model. Whether you are taking still shots or movies, creative compositions or everyday selfie shots, you will enjoy beautiful images that you will want to share on the go. While there is a 3.5mm port to connect an external mic, headphones can only be attached via the optional Hashu adapter. However, using the adapter blocks the view of the screen when it's tipped up. The camera's innovative AF quickly and reliably detects the subject's position and then tracks the subject's motion, keeping it in sharp focus. The impressive AF technology makes the Sony Alpha 6400 one of the best live streaming cameras you can buy today. Now we are in the number 6 camera in our list, which is the Nikon D7500. It runs for about like $100,296. It's been a while since Nikon made any significant changes to this enthusiast focus series of DSLRs. The D7100 was the last major update, and that was in 2013. With the D7500, every other year pendulum swings back to deliver some notable enhancements, many of which are sensor and image processor, the metering system, 
performance, design and features, and video as well. The D7500 also supports in-camera time-lapse movies, with the option of using a dummy battery for continuous power, unlimited live view timer and clean HDMI output, the D7500 camera is one of the best contestants in the list of best cameras for live streaming. Now going down in our list, we find our seventh camera, which is the Panasonic Lumix GH5. It runs for about $1,297. The Panasonic Lumix GH5 is the upgraded model of the GH4. Upgraded and redesigned, it offers a unique imaging platform for shooters looking for top quality video and still photography in a compact package. Its ultra-fast speed allows you to record 4K video at up to 60 frames per second. The GH5 offers videographers that kind of specification and video quality usually only made possible by a much larger, more expensive cinematic camera. It's even possible to connect an XLR mic via an optional adapter. In addition to the extensive range of video quality, format and frame rate options, the GH5 has a high quality viewfinder, excellent very angle touchscreen, and both 4K photo and 6K photo mode to simplify capturing fleeting moments. It's also dust and waterproof so you can use it without concerns outdoors. Now in our list we find the Sony Alpha CC600 which runs for about $1,398. Accurate out of focus and in body stabilization make this a fine choice. At first glance you might wonder why I'm recommending this Sony model over its significantly cheaper mates on the list. Look closer and you'll find several key features that make it the superior YouTube camera. Number one, there is in-body image stabilization, which helps smooth out handheld shooting no matter which lens you are using. Number two, the Alpha C6600 has both mic and headphone ports. Number three, there is the excellent real-time eye AF for movies, which keeps faces in focus even if they move back and forth in the frame. And number four, the battery capacity on the Alpha C6600 is about twice the size, giving you a lot more shooting time for charge. It's also good to keep in mind that the screen also flips up to face forwards, which means anything mounted on the hot shoe will block your view. But aside from these cubals, the Alpha C6600 is one of the best YouTube cameras around. We are almost done with our list. Now we have our ninth camera, which is the Canon EOS 80D. It runs for about like $1,399. The Canon 80D is the big leaks, and it is among the best DSLR cameras on the market. Its decisive dual pixel autofocus makes it a more robust contestant. This camera performs very well in low light, making it one of the best charged live streaming cameras. This camera has an advanced autofocus system, probably the best compared to other available cameras at this price. While it cannot record 4K videos, it does provide 1080 at 60p clicks and continuous autofocus during streaming. A headphone jack has also been added. This camera is made especially for advanced users, as it is powerful and easy to use, exuding a solid feeling and a thoughtful design. The ADD is essential development for the Canon sensor, and the dual pixel autofocus can not only focus continuously during filming but also during static shooting. Now our last camera in the list is the Sony Alpha 7 II, which runs for about like $1,636. This high-end mirrorless camera is a super option for professional streamers. This Sony camera offers a clean HDMI output function. That way the camera's view can be sent to your computer, captured and uploaded live to your streaming platform of choice, along with footage of the game you're playing. It's also essential that the camera doesn't automatically switch off after a certain length of time. Thankfully, the Sony Alpha 7 II can be said to not switch off after inactivity. The jump from a regular webcam with integrated streaming capabilities to a professional camera is a huge one to make, and you need to budget for a suitable lens. However, your video quality will also take a serious leap forwards, and hopefully, so will your viewing figures. Ok, I hope after watching this video and the list of cameras and things you need, you now know exactly what kind of camera will fit your expertise and need for your live streaming presentations. Also, don't forget to share this video. Again, thank you for watching and please don't forget to leave me your comments below and also to subscribe to my channel and click in the little bell. Also, follow me on my social media channels listed here to keep yourself informed of the things I normally do every week. See you next time. Bye.